So my name is Jeremy Newman. I am a quality engineer here at Storm Power in Decatur, Tennessee. I want to give you a demonstration of our uh, Vertec Laser QC um, metrology equipment. Um, it works very similar to the old optical comparators except this one instead of using uh, photographs and things like that it it has a laser head there or a laser that projects down to this bed it scans the part and it gives us accuracy i believe the accuracy is within seven microns so it's quite user friendly to use you just simply have to open the app I'm going to be writing a program, so I'm going to choose Supervisor here. And then it's just a matter of going to our process engineering drive, which has all of our um, DWG CAD files, and selecting the appropriate CAD file for the customer. In this instance, um, I can just simply scan the stock code and now you can see hopefully that the CAD file has been imported into the uh, the application after I've got the app loaded or the CAD file loaded into the software I'm now ready to scan my part so it gives you You've got to input the material thickness because it is a laser, it's not going to measure the thickness correctly. Uh, so we'll still have to do manual measurements of material thickness, but that's not a big deal. In this case, the material thickness is 0.25 or quarter of an inch. It gives us six options to choose from um, how, the, how the part was fabricated. Uh, which are machined, laser cut, punched, water jet, plasma, and radius edge. Radius edge would be if you're uh, if the material's full round edge, a, a, a complete radius. The part that I'm inspecting now, it was punched. Next, I select my material. It's copper, half hard. If I select this project all hopefully you can see this you might not be able to perhaps very faintly you can see the CAD model which is also on the the screen there is being projected via laser onto the glass surface that's to ensure that you've oriented the part correctly to the CAD model and you're within the limits of the machine. Here I've went ahead and installed or placed the part onto the glass. Um, you should be, be able to still see the laser um, image faintly. So now I'm ready to scan my part. I just simply come over here and hit OK. You can see the laser is calibrating itself. Actually, it's retrieving the calibration. And there you can see the laser going around the periphery of the part. And now it's going around the holes. Okay, the scan is now complete. And it is overlaid an actual visual image of the physical part over the uh, CAD model. Okay, now since I've obtained my scan, I can add any actual dimensions I want. I can set my origin. In this case, it's gonna be that corner and that corner. I could also choose 
hole locations is my origin. Um, so we're going to do it from that corner and that corner. So now it's just a matter of clicking on the di digital calipers and selecting the features, which I'm going to use my origin. And it gives me data. So that's one way to measure a part. Um, the Vertec also has the feature to use the CAD model and basically pick out automatically what it thinks would be the most logical dimensions. Keep in mind we can um, pick any dimension that the customer requires. But in this case, I'm going to change my hole tolerance um, to five thousandths. The actual print tolerance, tolerance is ten thousandths. But I know these holes are slightly undersized. You can see there um, those hole diameters are showing up in red. Red, of course, means hey, you have a problem. But, but the issue is the, the holes are undersized. The Vertec also has the option to, or the capability to generate a report just by simply clicking on report. I'm gonna input some data here. Okay, now I've inputted uh, the company, Storm Power Components, customer, Programmer, that's me. Part ID, the part number, the actual measured thickness. And now I have the option to um, show what I want in the report. So now I've highlighted everything that I want in the report. And now I've generated the report. It's a PDF. We can also do Excel spreadsheets. Um, course there probably wouldn't be this many dimensions we have the option to name the dimensions the nominal uh, change that to what uh, if it's a specific feature such as a milled pocket or 90 degree bend um, we can name the dimensions whatever we need or the customer needs it also gives a visual <clears throat> demonstration uh, visual report this one's quite messy can very easily be cleaned up but um, that's it uh, Vertec uh, before the parts are bent this would be a great in process uh, inspection thank you